Hi, this is Yasarian from BoyMeetsPhone.com, and what I have here for you today is the HTC Sensation 4G. Um, it's just released on T-Mobile and a couple other carriers in the UK. Um, it's it's going to be my first impressions. I want to share that with you. Um, first, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of the phone itself. It has a 4.3 inch quarter high def Super LCD display. Underneath the display, we have four capacitive buttons for home, menu, back and search. On the bottom is the battery release and microphone. On the left side we have the micro USB slash MHL port. Um, if you have the MHL cable you can use that for HDMI out. So it does do HDMI out but only via a um, MHL cable. Above that we have the volume rocker. On top we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the power and lock button. And there is nothing on the right side. On the back we have the speaker grill with the microphone. A 8 megapixel digital camera that does full high def video recording and has dual LED flashes on the side. Um, this is a unibody design so in order to take it off what happens is you hit the battery release and lift up the basically the entire inside of the device comes out of the chassis. On the top we have the speaker grill and the VGA front facing camera and right there is going to be, that's not the status light, that is one of the sensors, that's the ambient light sensor. The status light is actually on this side of the speaker grill. Um, it's very light. That's my first thought when I picked this up. I was not expecting this phone to be as light as it is, and it is actually pretty light in the hand. Um, I've been using a MyTouch 4G for a while, and even compared to that, I'm not quite sure if it's just because of the, how it's designed, the curves of it, but it makes it feel incredibly light, which is a really good thing for such a, with such a huge screen. Since this is my first impressions video, I'm not going to spend too much time on features. I'm just going to share my first thoughts when I have been playing with this phone for the day. Um, I like the animations on it. I like the little, little tiny additional things it did, like adding that little 3D effect there and 3D effect in most of the other sense widgets um, actually extends to some of the Google widgets too, you know, it's a little 3D. Just mainly because of how it, it's rendered. I think this is a, like a 3D square, square and it rotates like that. Um, I like that stuff. Um, HTC always does a good job with adding little flares to it to make it more visually pleasing. Um, the screen itself, um, I was, I've been playing with a MyTouch 4G for a while. Before I got this, and the whites on the MyTouch 4G seem brighter, and even at the brightest setting, it seems brighter. I'm not quite sure why that is. It could have something to do with they changed what kind of white they're using on the UI. I haven't done a screen test. Once I do that, I'll get down to the the bottom of why it seems wider on the MyTouch 4G, but it doesn't take away from the fact that the screen is actually really nice and actually not that bad in direct sunlight, but it is something to take note of and something I noticed right off the bat when I turned it on. Um, the quick settings, that's a useful feature, that's something you can find on um, any HCC phone running um, gingerbread, and this is running gingerbread. I kind of like having the settings on top better. I'd, me personally, I'd rather have that than the list of apps that I've recently launched, seeing as I could just go like this and bring that up. But I like the fact that they did add the quick settings because it is settings that I myself find myself find useful to change. And the task manager is another awesome thing to have where you can kill certain tasks to manage your memory. That's always a good thing to find built into a phone so you don't have to go and get a third party one. 
I did like the fact that um, on, as soon as you get out of the box and everything, it doesn't come with too many apps. See, I downloaded a few apps. See, that's the stuff I downloaded. But it doesn't come with too many, like, bloatware, to me, like, carrier stuff on it. Um, you do get the HTC Hub, which is nice to find. It did come with Lookout already installed. And I was a little bit surprised on that, but I do... I use Lookout myself and I was going to have to install it anyway, so it's nice that I didn't have to go out and install it, it was already in there. Um, has some of the normal HTC apps on there, has Peeps, has Places, which is a Google app, a Google app, sorry. Um, Nova, I haven't played that yet, but I will be playing that to test that out. Um, Polaris Office. Um, I don't normally use Slackers, and, but it comes with Slackers radio. I'm more of a Pandora person myself. I'm not too sure why it has a, the Telenav GPS when you have the Google navigation on it. But I mean, if you're more into Telenav, then you at least have the option. So I mean, having as many options as possible is always good. But like I said, they didn't add too many, like, too much bloatware, not too much like stuff that you're not going to use or at least test out a couple of times on this so I, I do really enjoy that and I actually thank T-Mobile and HTC for doing that because you know other carriers will add a lot of other stuff that you know, you're probably never going to use whereas this stuff is stuff you might want to test out and you end up using in your everyday life so far I haven't experienced any lag whatsoever with the Sensation 4G but I also haven't completely fit it through its paces so uh, look for more videos to come and a full review in a couple of weeks. Make sure to head over to the site. It's boymeetsphone.com. You can like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching.